There are so many Jewish musicians and artists in this country, in America, but most of them don't talk about their Jewish identity at all. Somehow, we're crazy enough to, 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 to do it. Been all around this world, baby mine. Been all around this world, baby mine. Been all around this world, I'm a singing Jewish girl. Been all around this world, baby mine. How do you dance to this? Like this? Just like that. You just... Whatever you want, it works. Leo, come on. אני אוריאל, וזה ליאור. הוא מצלם, ואני מדבר. יחד אנחנו יוצאים לרוטריפ בלב ארצות הברית, כדי לפגוש את היהודים של תרבות הקאנטרי האמריקאית. היעד הבא שלנו הוא ממפיס, טנסי. פה צמחו גדולי המוזיקה האמריקאית, כמו ביבי קינג, ג'וני קאש ואלוויס פרסי. והמוזיקה עדיין חיה וקיימת כאן בכל פינה. אני פונה פה ימינה באלוויס פרסלי בולווארד. שדרות אלוויס פרסלי. וואי, מה הולך פה? וואלה, אחי, זה מגניב. אתה רוצה לצלם את זה? כאן, באמפי המפורסם לויט של, נפגוש הערב את להקת נפש מאונטן, שמשלבת צלילים אמריקאים עם תכנים יהודיים. שמעתי אלוויס ניגן את אחת ההופעות הראשונות שלו על הבמה הזו. זה מקום מיוחד. Husband and wife. Yes. Mm-hmm. In the same band. Yes. Same band. At 7 o'clock, we're doing a big show, and it's open to the public. It's for people of all backgrounds. Um, it's a Nefesh Mountain bluegrass concert. Bluegrass music, what is that? Well, bluegrass is a style of American music that started in the South, and it comes from old-time music, which had roots in African music and also the Scotch-Irish tradition. But it's become known as like Americana or roots music. And, uh, and that's, that's the genre of music that we play. We write songs that are infused with um, a, a pride in being Jewish as Jewish Americans. Music in Jewish America was always a part of the music of the music of the klezmer and 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 the klezmer that brought them to the United States. But Donnie and Eric grew up on Americana, and when they started to play together, they created something new together. We found ourselves just writing music in the style of who we were as people in, in America. Initially, it was truly just us making music that felt real to us. Then we realized we were doing something different. Usually, the bluegrass and old-time music is, is gospel-based, and it's beautiful, you know, some of my favorite music. But as a Jew, we had to kind of create this world to live in. This kind of music is already spiritual. So us coming in with our spirituality was a perfect fit. The content of our music comes from a Jewish perspective. We have Hebrew in many of our songs. I realize that I sound like a moron because I'm not using the ruh. But when I'm in America, if I'm, I have to say it the way that Americans say, But I, don't, I understand that I, it's not right. It's a dilemma. It's a dilemma. <laughs> Look at these beignets. <gasps> wow. I got distracted. We were doing an interview and I saw the, the cookies. This is way more exciting. <laughs> I got distracted by this. Oh, <laughs> <okay. laughs> I love bluegrass. What do you yeah, call this? this? Uh, it's a beignet. Yeah. It's a big New Orleans thing. New Orleans, yeah. okay. Which one is best? This one? This is chocolate, peanut butter, and uh, caramel. Okay. וואו. מה? מודים. מה זה? לא יודע. תסביר מה אתה אוכל. אני אוכל איש, דונאט שהוא איש, ויש עליו שוקולד וחמאת בוטנים ורטבים מטורפים. וואו, אחי, זה באמת ממש טוב. כן? אפשר לחתוך ולהתחיל לאכול? פתאום. בזמן הביקור שלנו בממפיס פגשנו בחור מרתק, והיינו חייבים לכלול אותו בפרק הזה. כריסטיאן הוא מוזיקאי בעצמו, והוא גם בונה בנג'וי מקצועי. 
אבל הסיבה שרצינו לפגוש אותו היא אוסף התקליטים היהודי הנדיר שנמצא ברשותו. I collect music from around the world, so I have a very good collection of early klezmer music, recorded both in Europe and here in the United States. Do you have any Jewish background? None. No Jewish background? None. No, I even did the spit in the tube test and sent it off. I got nothing. למרות שאין לו שום רקע יהודי, כריסטיאן הוא ממש מומחה לז'אנר. הוא אפילו מעביר סדנאות, בהן הוא מנגן תקליטים עתיקים ומרצה על ההיסטוריה של המוזיקה היהודית. How many records do you have? Over 10,078 RPM records. Wow. And so the Jewish section is right here on this corner. This is all Jewish music. Since these are extremely rare, extremely valuable records. I do have a couple of favorites in here. The most important one is a record that I have the only known copy of on earth. In the world? In the world. It's, uh, it was recorded by a Hebrew orchestra in Odessa, in the Ukraine. What year is this from? So this was recorded in 1913. It survived the pogroms in Russia. Mm -hmm. um, it survived you know, a world war. Mm -hmm. And then it made its way across the Atlantic to the United States of America. <laughs> תחשוב שזה מלפני יותר מ-100 שנה, הקליטו את זה באודסה, באוקראינה. ועכשיו אנחנו יושבים בממפיס עם כריסטיאן. זה העותק היחיד. וזה העותק היחיד בעולם, ואנחנו מקשיבים לו בגרמופון האורגינלי הזה. תראו. We're on the road all year. We're doing about 150, 200 dates a year. All over the world, we play a lot of Jewish communities, but we also play a lot of secular communities. It's scary a little bit. We didn't know if the bluegrass world was going to accept us. We didn't know if the Jewish world was going to accept the bluegrass. You know, recently we did a festival, a bluegrass festival, all different people in the audience, huge audience, and I actually had a fear that they were all going to get up and leave. when they heard that we were singing in Hebrew. And, I, and Eric like, was like, went like this, like, are you okay, you know? But I got it in my head. Anyway, so we started performing and everybody stayed. And then more people came. And then we got a standing ovation at the end of this show. And people came up to us after. I don't think they've met a Jew in their lives. Like, a lot of people, you know, don't meet Jewish people. There's, we're a very small percentage of this country. אחרי ההופעה, דוני ואריק גם פגשו את כריסטיאן. הם הקשיבו יחד לתקליט מאודסה. וכמובן, מצאו מחנה משותף במוזיקה. I want our music to be for everybody. and try to kind of redefine some of the stereotypes through the ages of Jews or Judaism. Through what I love about this country, the sounds of banjos and fiddles and Americana music, and at the same time outwardly say, and by the way, we're Jewish.